In this video, I've got an Excel spreadsheet containing customer order data broken down by US cities. What we're going to do is create separate spreadsheets for each city. I'm going to be using VBA and the Excel Advanced Filter. This is video three out of four in a series that I'm doing on the Excel VBA Advanced Filter. Enjoy. I'm going to use the Advanced Filter to get a unique list of cities and then with each of the cities, we're going to iterate over those cities and extract from this data just the records pertaining to those cities and save them as separate workbooks. So I'm just going to format this and I'm going to save the workbook as a macro workbook. Alt F11 takes you to the VBA editor. I'm going to click insert module. I'm just going to create a subroutine, sub create sub reports if, if i just break it into the big sections get unique list of cities loop over those cities create extract report for each city i'm going to add a sheet and it's going to be cities just get ship city and create a criteria here and create an extract range to the right hand side of it like so so just give this spreadsheet the cities tab the name sheet cities dim range data as range, range crit as range, range extract as range. Now, so set range data equals sheet data dot range a1 dot current region. That is the equivalent of doing control asterisk on the data like so. Okay, so that gives us our data. And now set range crit equals sheet cities dot range a1 or just a1 to a2 a1 to a2 and set range ext equals sheet cities dot range d1 range data dot advanced filter filter copy criteria is range crit extract is range extract and i wanted a unique list so that's true and I'm just going to put a stop in there and let's test it. So we've got a unique listing of cities. So get you a unique list of cities. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to return this as an array. What I'm going to do to make things easier is I'm going to change that to a function. And this is the way coding is done in reality. You change things as you go. You have a big idea, but then you change things as you go. So get a unique list of cities. What I want to do now, the range return. I'm going to call this range return. Set range return equals range ext that current region. Set range return equals range return dot resize range return goes that count minus one dot offset one so what we're doing here is range extract points to ship city but then dot current region gives you the equivalent of that but we don't want the header or at least i don't want the header so what i want to do then is i want the range to be that which is one less so what i do is i say how many rows are in the range and then subtract one from it and then move it down which basically gives you that but what i don't want is it to throw a wobbly a wobbly so what i'm going to do is if range return dot rows dot count equals one meaning there's nothing there just the header then exit sub and then i'm going to return this list of values as an array equals range return dot value dim v cities and then v city equals get unique list of cities and i press i put a stop here and I press F5, sub a function not defined. It shouldn't be a sub, it should be a function. And these are the kind of things, you know, it, it's like writing a book to a certain extent. You see the perfect code at the end, but it's been iterations of things going wrong all the way through, usually. Well, that's me anyway. Okay, so let's see what we got. So V city, and now I have got an array of cities. Yay! Well, the next step is going to be to loop over these cities and produce the output. So what I'm going to do now in order to produce the output is we no longer need uh, the ship city in A1 because that was a criteria that got us our list of unique cities. I'm now going to repurpose that to be the criteria for the reports. So what I've got to do for loop over each city is I'm going to pass in the list of cities. So I type 
v city as variant. Put a stop in there again, get rid of this earlier stop, and let's let this run. v cities, here's our list of cities. Then i as integer, return, and then for i equals l bound v c i t i e s this gets us the lower element of the array u bound v cities next okay so now i'm going to do dim s said city as string because i use to prefer to use s z rather than str just hey my way of being individual okay so s said city equals v cities open brackets i comma one we're gonna stop here okay so we've got our city so now we need to do our extract we need to get our headers i'm going to get the header list here like so and i'm going to paste it to the cities area as my sample header so and i'm going to just call this name sample header okay and this header is going to be copied into each new spreadsheet as we create it so name sample header and what i'm going to do to make things easier is dim range header as range and range data as range again range crit for criteria as range and range ext as range as ever range data is going to be the same place that it's always been which is going to be up here because you only really want to put stuff in a loop that's actually needs to change otherwise you're running code that doesn't need to be run which will slow your system down okay so set range data equals that and the criteria is going to be the same as it was earlier sheet cities but what's going to happen is the extract is going to vary so I'm just going to run this particular piece of code again just to initialize the variables. And you can always test what you've initialized by using the immediate window. So if I go range crit dot select, you can see the criteria has been selected. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to create a new workbook. Dim WBK new as workbook. Dim WKS new as worksheet set wbk new equals workbooks.add wks new equals workbook new dot worksheets one range header equals sheet cities dot range and this is name sample header which we pasted created earlier worksheet new dot range a1 sorry i can't maintain eye contact with you i know you're kind of missing it but I gotta look at the spreadsheet. I mean, geez. Okay, so worksheet new dot range a one resize. I mean, you don't have to do resize. Well, that's just let's. But if you want, I'm trying to keep things as flexible as possible. Dot range a one dot resize, and I'm not doing anything with the row, so I just put a comma there. But I want range header dot columns dot count. And this is all object oriented programming that count dot dot value equals range header dot value and this is avoiding having to copy you just write the data in so now i'm going to create range extract so set range extract equals worksheet new dot range a1 dot current region sorry it's range ext not range extract I am full of those mistakes lately. The other thing I'm going to do with this spreadsheet is I'm going to create a config sheet. And my config sheet is going to have save location in it. It's going to give it a range name just to keep it simple. The files are going to be saved to that particular path. Create sub reports, get a unique list of cities, loop over each city. And in loop over each city, we've looped over the city and create re extract report for each city. Uh, and this is the way code is, you sort of do it in layers, just like writing a book. So I'm gonna change some things right now. So we've got our city here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to embed the create extract report for each city. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change, and, and don't take this as, oh, Sean, get to the point, why didn't you write it straight? What I'm also showing you how to do is how to write code, because you actually iterate as you go. So I'm gonna pass in the city name, 
as string. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do create extract report for each city space SZ CITY city. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this code here and I'm going to copy it or cut it and paste it into there. And what you end up having is clean code that's easy to read as a result of that. So we did range data range crit range header. So I'm going to need these two variables here and I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to reformat the shift tab back. So workbook new worksheet new. I need to also pass in the range header. I'm going to put range header before it. F range header as range and do range header. And so if with that, we do that. So we're passing in arguments, a range header, debug compile. That's a way of checking to see, have you forgotten anything? And range extract needs to be defined. So I am just going to do it here. Dim range ext as range. What we've got here, range data, range crit. Am I using any of these? It doesn't look like I'm using range data or range crit here. So I'm going to pass in range data and range crit because I don't want them being created every time in the loop. I just want to pass in the reference to them. I'm going to do is put by ref range data as range, range crit as range. And then press the space bar and you get the IntelliSense range data, range crit and debug compile and we are good. So now it's time to perform the extract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do range crit dot resize one. So that offset one row dot value equals S said city, which is the variable that is passed in here, which says Las Vegas. So watch what happens. This cell A1 here should populate with the city. Control F9, put the cursor over it. And there you go. Las Vegas has populated into that. Let's do the advanced filter. Range data dot advanced filter. Excel filter copy range crit range ext and let's extract it fingers crossed there we go we've extracted data to a new spreadsheet so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to auto fit the columns range ext dot current region which gets you the whole range dot columns dot auto fit there you go so now what we want to do is save this workbook wbk new dot save as and give it a file name and the and the file name is going to be workbook dot names and the name is going to be save location we need to put in a training backslash and the file name and the extension i'm going to say xlsx dot slxx and we can test what i've just done by putting that into the immediate window by a question mark. I forgot to put in the refers to range dot refers to range dot value. See, that's why it's good to test. Yes. So hopefully the file will be placed in there when I click, when I go over this. So control F9, F8. There you go. The Las Vegas file has been saved. And now we need to close this file. WBK new dot close save changes false because we've already done it and bang the file is gone so as we can see the next city is new york and it should overwrite las vegas with new york added the new spreadsheet uh, it's added in the headers it's populated the new york data auto fit the columns save as and close now don't forget what can also be done here is a load of formatting can be done to make it look a lot nicer but i'm just trying to give the big picture here so there's New York. So let me just let the code run now. We're there, it's done. We have created separate reports for Denver, Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Let's open up Miami. There's our Miami report and the report is called Miami. Hey, okay, oh, we've got a Milwaukee one. There's the sales to Milwaukee. So you could do a lot of stuff. You could have, we could have uh, formatted it. We could have put in totals. We could have added in extra information as well. I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, check out the links below for other links to other advanced filter uh, YouTube videos and you can get the code that goes with this probably with the link that's appeared up here and I'll probably have a link also down in the description below. Thanks for watching.